guys, it's been a couple days since we picked up the camera. One, because I got a little ahead. Two, because it's so bloody hot. You can't even think straight. Right, Ash? Yeah, so I'm putting my hair. She's putting her hair up in a bun. I am, it is so hot outside. And Abby's had a hard time. So if I leave the house, I leave for like an hour and then come back. She stopped taking her oxycodone after two days. We ran out and it was too late. Well, I actually tried to get the oxycodone from the doctor and the doctors, not my doctor, just the on-call nurse or whoever, didn't recommend letting her have more. Um, not last night, but the night before. Um, and they upped her ibuprofen. Um, for those that are maybe new, my daughter just had surgery, had her wisdom teeth taken out. Yeah, just go get your swimsuit on. We're gonna go swimming. That's what we are gonna do today. Just gonna give you a quick update on Abby. And I'm sorry it's so noisy with the fans, but I'm not turning them off. Oh, that, yeah. It, we can't even get it to Go, go, go quick. Go get, I know, we can't even get it into the 60s inside the house. Got up to almost 80 last night in the house. So, um, part of the problem is that she's pretty independent and she, she wants to not need pain medication because she's been on it like around the clock since last October, since last year. And so she wants to not have to be on it. And so I think she just took the extra medicine and dealt with it yesterday until it was too late. And um, she came to me sobbing, crying, upset at like 10 o'clock, well at like 9.30. And all of our local pharmacies had already closed. And I put in a call to the online surgical center over at Seattle Children's and they called me right back and they were like, you know what, let's just get her on Oxy. And it was my doctor's um, assistant, like nurse, I don't even know what she was, but um, she was like, we know her situation. The on-call doctor didn't know that last night, even though she read her file. We know what pain she's probably in because we did the surgery. She had two impacted. Anyway, they called it in, but the only place that we could get it um, filled was clear back over at Seattle Children's, and it's 40 minutes away from where we are. 30 without traffic, because it was like, by the time Jason left, um, it was 10 o'clock at night, and he had to work today, so he was kind of frustrated, but he obviously like wanted to do it. So he went at 10 o'clock last night and got her medicines from the hospital. I gave her a dose at midnight, and then I think I went in there at eight, four in the morning and gave her another dose, and I didn't hear from her again until she came down here. My smoke alarm went off at 11, because I was making bacon, because it was gonna go bad. So I accidentally woke her up, but she slept solid for like eight hours, and I was so happy. She finally got some good sleep. She does have swelling still. So I have to be mindful of how long I'm gone today because I am in charge of her meds when she's on the oxycodone. I keep them with me. I do not let her have control of them because they make you loopy. And she could decide I'm still in pain, I'm gonna take another one. And it would be too fast, too soon. So I am not letting her have control of that. So we are gonna go swimming today. My father-in-law invited us to his condo pool and if you know anything about mm, shall we say older generation condo pool associations with HOAs he's on the board mind you of his HOA let's just say they're not very friendly with children so you might say you've had access to a pool this whole summer and there's all this heat and you haven't gone it's because they're really annoying they're really really annoying you can't have food by the pool and have drinks by the pool you can't be there from five to seven or four to seven or something like five. that. Five to seven. Sorry, I'm shutting down all any light that could possibly come in here and heat up the house. Um, it's just ridiculous. So we have to go over there fed and watered. <laughs> and we're trying to not go into that room. So uh, <laughs> we're like putting everything right here. And then as soon as I open that door, I'm going to take it all out. Anyway, it's kind of annoying. We are going to go swim with our cousins. Um, and Jason's brother. We are gonna go and hang out with them. They're here in town. They live about an hour away. So it's gonna be fun, but it is gonna be another almost 100 degree day today. So we're gonna try and beat the heat. And then our friend group tonight, normally we would meet on the beach and we're like, nope, we're not doing it. It's too hot, correct? Okay, is that suit too big on you? No. I think it's too big. This one, this one fits. That one fits? Too. Okay, don't open that door again. Don't open that door again. Ugh, you can't even see me. Okay, we're gonna get ready to go to the pool. Okay, we had a little bit of extra time to wait to go swimming, so we're gonna get your hair cut, right? Should we show how long it is now? Ow! Can you hit your toe? No, I peel my legs. I know, the, the seats make our legs stick to them. Peel, Because they're so hot, they just make you... Yes. No, the seat's not even okay, hot. Okay, show us your hair. 
Now that you're standing there, show us how long your hair is. Turn around. She doesn't even know. And you're gonna chop it, right? To right below your shoulders. Well, I mean, I want it to like still, still go in a ponytail. Like Here-ish, just like kind of the ends, but like enough of the weight off of it to not be so hot anymore. I want my hair. I want that to like. So I don't know how to explain it. I do have a photo. Of it. I don't know how to. You can show okay. me the photo. Oh, you don't have your iPad. Okay, let's go ahead and so, get your hair cut. Yeah. I know it's nothing new. It's so good to see you. Okay, show us your hair. Does it feel good? It feels light. The ladies there always like, oh, her hair is so soft. Her hair is so blonde. They're super nice. <laughs> They're super nice, and they've seen you grow up. Yeah. Which is even funner, and they know dad, <laughs> and they're mad that I learned how to. Cut okay. dad's hair. <laughs> they don't ever get to see Jason. They're like, no, where's no, Jason? Dad, don't learn. I know. Okay, off to the pool. What time is it? Um, nowhere close to 2:30. Nowhere close to 2:30. We can go. Yeah. Sunny day, sunny day, sunny days. No clouds in the sky, but again, away feels like it's been a freaking decade. Sorry, don't call because I'm gonna be on break. Sunny day, sunny day, make way. All the stress and doubt. Well, that was a lot of fun, yeah. yes? There were more kids and families at that pool than we have seen there in years, in a long time. That was so fun, and like, there were some people there that were like, they do like Arab, what do they call it? Oh. They're like, they they're like, like, gym, like circus gymnasts. Yes. Yeah, like the acrobat gymnasts in circuses. Acrobatics? So, yeah, acrobatics, yeah. yes. And they were like, doing all these like poses on the side of the pool like headstands and handstands and stuff and then like yeah. like you know diving into the pool from that point oh, it's so cool so we had a good time right yeah it doesn't really work and then grandpa gave us ice cream cones when we got back to his house so Jason's two brothers were both there with all of their kids so that was kind of fun because we haven't seen um, either set of families for a while Oh, okay. She's calling? Yeah. Oh, okay. Hang on. Okay. What do I look like post pool? Okay. Post shower. I was going to show you more of my process, but it's so hot. Our room turns into a sauna when we take the air conditioning out in the morning. It's right here by me. So is a fan. I'm just sitting here. Fan, AC. Oh my gosh, you guys. I don't have a blow dryer. So I just blow dried my hair and straightened it with the fan and the AC unit. Oh, in an hour. What time is it? Where's my phone? In just under an hour. I have to leave in two minutes. We're going to dinner to sit in air conditioning and hope that the, re the restaurant isn't that busy and they let us just sit there for a couple hours. Look at my hair, it's so cute. I'm using you guys as my mirror because it has good light. But I have to say that I'm really impressed with my ability to use the fan to dry my hair and get it this straight. I wouldn't have worried about it, but we have church tomorrow and I want it straight again. And I want my friend to see it. She hasn't seen it all done. It looks good, but I'm dying of heat. We moved the air conditioner in here tonight already for the kids to come and sleep. They've been setting up their bed. Chelsea has her bed over there. Ashley's got her pillow right here because she sleeps right in front of the air conditioner. I know it's really loud. I'm gonna move here. Turn off my straightener. Don't need any more heat. But we're off to dinner. Jason's home and he's wearing a fun shirt. Let me get on and show you. I trashed <laughs> my makeup table getting ready. I've trashed the floor, my nightgown, socks, tissues. And this is the state of our bed. It's kind of a trash. Um, that was my swim dress. I don't even know where my swimsuit is. All right, Jason's sporting his little Hawaiian shirt tonight. It's kind of fun. Yeah. It's actually a nice shirt. It's not too like flashy Hawaiian, but it looks really good with those shorts and yeah. you look nice. Thank you. You're like a circle 
that floats around me, keeping me safe and sound. And when I fall, you tied a rope to me. You're blessing me every day. I was down with an illusion. All right, so we had fun eating dinner with them. Always um, fun, always fun. Always fun. And it started to kind of die down, like in the restaurant, right when we were kind of done eating. And so we felt like, all right, there's a lot of open tables. We can sit here and chat. So we've been there for almost three hours. So two and a half hours or so. Um, but we're like, well, right when we left, it was starting to get busy again. But it's always fun to chat with them. And Abby is at home feeling nauseous. She's kind of been feeling nauseous all day. And I think it's because she's not getting enough to eat. Enough solid things. Enough yet. solid things to like counteract the ibuprofen and the new medicine that she started taking today. And so I was like, you need protein in your body to... Those pain meds are very tough in the stomach. They are. And so I was like, please, Ab Ashley, she's like, Ashley's taking care of me. And I was like, she knows how to make my protein drink. Can you have her make that for you? And she was like, I don't like that. And I was like, I texted Ashley. I'm like, go and make her this protein drink. And I gave her like the instructions or reminded her because Ashley knows how to make it. And then I texted Abby and I was like, she was, well, she responded to me and she's like, Ashley's making me the shake. Cause no. I, I, I think she it knows. A big, it's a big thing of, uh, of milk. I hope she can pour it. Well, Chelsea can help her pour the milk. They've eaten a lot of milk today. And, uh, Chelsea poured for a bowl of cereal. Tonight? So oh, it's, it's still kind of full. Either way, they'll figure it out. They but. will. And we're going to go home. We're going to go play games at our house instead of... Oh, I'm really red right here. There's a lot of... Um, brake lights. Brake lights in front of me. Uh, Kaylee's friends are probably still at their lake house. Their friend who has a lake house. I think I should find out if she's coming home. You should find out where our daughter's at. She was there and I told her she always knows to like get in touch with me as soon as she leaves. But yeah, she's a good kid. Anyway, also I hid the oxy before I left. There's no temptation. She doesn't to want it. Uh, there's no fun. Okay. I gotta go be a mom for a second. Hang on. Okay. Eleven o'clock, eleven thirty. It's so hot in here. Seventy four. Kind of starting a night routine. We've got the back window or the back door up. We got <laughs> getting a dog. The back door open because we finally have some cooler temperatures outside. But as you can see, everyone is still awake, kind of getting things cleaned up. Also, I'm doing more laundry right now because we don't need to worry about that room being hot. So I've got this load here. I've got more towels in the basket down there to fold upstairs. They're just hungry because they're still awake. So she's having cereal. It's just too hot. I'm editing and doing computer work out here now because I can't be in my office not cooling down until tomorrow night and then we have like 70 degree temperatures but we had a fun time playing with our friends <sighs> my friend Kevin he's so competitive he lost the game but he didn't because he won me like his sole mission in life is to make sure he at least wins me so it's always a very competitive game well because he didn't beat I don't know he beat you yeah, he beat me. He didn't win the game. Whatever. I'm gonna take this up in case. I was just not feeling quite well and I can't tell if it's just not eating right or if she's starting to get an infection. So I've got that and I've got her meds. I'm gonna be in charge of those again tonight. And can we please go to bed soon? Okay. Look, <laughs> she's having a whole meal. <laughs> You have fun at the lake? Yeah. Okay, we're going to sign off with you guys. This is a normal day in our hot life, correct? It's nice and hot. It's going to cool down. We're going to go back to the beach. I'm back to going on my walks. Going back to being outside. I think Monday I could even go on a hike with Jason because it's not going to be that bad. And that will be really fun. So, take care and we'll see you guys next time. I'm already a hot mess. Like, you can already see the sheen. I take this makeup on. A sheen of sweat. And I've already like, I need to like go up to my room because it's already getting sweaty under here. And you can see how much like my hair is curling up from the heat. I don't like it. What? My room. Yeah, but if you're at your desk. What do you mean? I'm just right next to your bed. How am I going to get ready? You're going to get your butt out of bed and go get ready. Well, I sit at my desk.
and get ready. I don't eat breakfast in the morning, so while I'm getting ready, you can eat breakfast and get dressed. Deal? Also, Jason did share his M&Ms tonight, but should I hide them, guys? Play a little trick on dad. He's gonna wanna come home tomorrow night and find his. Really mad. I should put him in with the broccoli in the freezer. Let's just hide him and see if he gets upset. I hit them right here because I like to tease him and he was cheating with Kevin tonight and like colluding to win the round against each other so that I would lose the round. They would like secretly tell each other what cards they had so that I would lose. <laughs> and then I go, oh, bros. Well, you know he probably said bros before. Hmm. He was being, he, he's not a mean guy. <laughs> he just likes to beat me in games, so. Can't be looking at me, honey. Good night. The magic places in the world I've been to This is where my heart is Oh, you know it's true No matter where I go I'm coming home to you